Hello, everybody. Welcome to America versus Ireland with the Hoogly, the H Man, and the lovely Lemmy. How are you guys doing today? Uh, ready to stab uh, in in a video game, not in YouTube violent yes, terms. Sure, sure. Uh, I know what you mean. Don't worry about it. It's all good. You know, me so, and Lemmy were talking cars and all that stuff until you come wandering in with your fucking bad haircut. Uh, I got a valve she can change. Ooh. But they uh, so this morning uh, tickets for Stevie Nicks uh, went on sale, uh -huh. and I I, get, I won the uh, what they call the the pre sale lottery where they send oh. out the few select few. Uh, I went to fucking get my tickets, and the thing had sold out within twelve minutes because the f and c word computer froze. It oh, hasn't Jesus. frozen all year, but today it fucking freezes. Uh, it fucked up my day. I was supposed to go see Ghostbusters tomorrow. I can't fucking make it. That's outrageous. Everybody loves the Ghostbusters, no. especially the all-female one. And I just heard that they're making the Boondocks 3 and C. And let me tell you something. The Boondocks Saints 1 and 2 are G-word for YouTube terms. The whole <laughs> fucking world is against me today. And then I get getting abuse uh, from Lemmy offline. She says that I'm too handsome. It was nothing I can do about that, yeah, you, you little uh. bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're such a charmer. I tell you, such a charmer you are. Why are you so mad about your hair? Like, look, can we see it? You no. were crying about it yesterday. Have you seen uh, Elf? Uh, I don't know, a little bit of it. it did you think that uh, Will Ferrell looked really cool and tough and Elf? No. Well, that's why the hat's staying on. Oh, Jesus Skull. fucking Christ. Oh, he's drinking water. That's why he's fucking upset. Of course it's fucking water, because it was supposed to be... Uh, I'm not in the mood, because if I get drunk tonight uh, and I start thinking about that Stevie Nicks thing, I'll I'll give people a piece of my mind, if you know what I mean. Stevie Stevie Nicks. Okay, you want to see that? You see, I don't even think... Lemmy, you, do you like her? Would you go see yeah. her? You would? Well, no, I wouldn't go see anyone. I'm kind of a hermit, but I do like really? Stevie Nicks. Yeah. I'm she would go. be... Amazing, all her solo stuff, plus all the classic Fleetwood Mac songs, plus knowing that she has uh, one of the hairiest pussies of all time. Does she but, really? Oh, God, yeah. She's, she never left the 70s. I doubt she's trimmed her uh, cunt or armpits since 1974, and I still think that Don Henley fucked her anyway. Somebody said, uh, who, who was it? Tom Petty was her man. Uh, actually, it wasn't George Harrison fucking her for a while because she was always doing stuff with him recording. He, I, she was always hanging out. I think that uh, everybody fucked her during the 70s. Like I think that uh, even Elton John probably fucked her in the 70s. Wow. I, I just think that uh, she has uh, more loose ends than a... Christopher Nolan script. There you go. Is my hilarious modernization sexism comment. <laughs> I'm fucking angry. Uh, it's all right. Uh, she, they used to have. There was a guy that used to blow coke up her ass. That was the one, right? Yeah. See, that's uh, amazing. Uh, Bob, you have a notoriously large penis. Uh, did it's you happen not... to see uh, Jim Stansel's video that leaked online? No, no. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. That, okay, yeah, I did. I did. Yeah, that uh, not exactly complimentary, is it? <laughs> like, well, it's a little. He's not a tall guy. He's not, you know. Uh, I don't know. Uh, what What did it look like to you? But put it like this: If you were trying to snort coke off his dick, you would be able to drive home. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you'd be doing a fucking half a gram for fucking days. Yeah, like you would. You, it was. Uh, not he's 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 no Nicky Norton. I put it like that. What she's packing? Oh, she. Well, Jim Jim, well, Jim Norton didn't admire for her looks. He admired her because he likes sucking her dick. Hey man, if it works, it works. I mean, look, whatever makes Jim happy, I'm happy for him. Eh. And that's the whole thing. Well, come on, why well, you can't be happy that the guy found somebody that he's happy with? No. You see how that's how he is. Lemmy's happy. She's dating a cow. The cow guy's <laughs> funny. Meh. Okay, nobody likes anybody. That's just the way it's going to be. I see it. 
Let's get to a few of these things. Dave Davila, two dollars. Levy Sod Seed Sola and Sons LC. You damn fucking right. I can't wait to get my solar uh, panels. Then I can fucking heat the pool all the time. Danny Thomas loves hookers shitting in his mouth. Four ninety nine. <laughs> Thank you, Bob. When you're having three way with Florentine, did you ever unintentionally feel his Johnson? No, just with my mind. Just with my mind. You know, we never. We were always like. Uh, straight across from each other we never even went to quarter after uh the time you know we were never that close so it was good dave davila five dollars levy's revenge stew recipe for hitting the like yeah fucking last night was a little brutal uh i i had the shits my stomach was making noises that i never heard before it was fucking horrible and I, I was afraid to sleep because i thought i was going to shit myself in, in, in at night and if that shit myself at night then she'll definitely leave me. Let me the crunt four ninety nine. Without you being interested in having a three way with me and Granny, I could do things that Gina would never even heard of. Well, that's pretty hot. Mm. Uh, but no, it's pretty or good. Like cook a good meal. Oh. Yeah, exactly. You know, God damn it, you work, bring home, make the money, and bring back the bacon, motherfucker. Hey. J A two dollars cigarettes. You damn fucking right, motherfucker. Hopefully not drip. an English one. <laughs> drip, drip, drip. There's no fucking dripping in here. So fucking calm the fuck down, you motherfuckers. But guess who's coming on tour? ELO. ELO is coming on tour. And that is going to be uh, the best fucking thing in the world. Hamburger helper sucks. Fuck off. Uh, they're coming in uh, September to the Garden or Philadelphia. Where should I go see them? Uh, the Garden, Philadelphia's full of. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, but you English know, it's, cigarettes. It's, it's close, but it's really close. It's like uh, the stadium's probably 15 minutes from here. They're, they're another band that I was pissed off at. I remember before the pandemic getting up early to join the Ticketmaster queue to get tickets and I got really mm -hmm. good seats. And during the lockdown, they not only, well, obviously they canceled it, but they didn't even reschedule it. They just said, ah, fuck it. So I have a feeling I'll never get to see them, even though I like them. The whole fucking world's against me today. And I don't know what Lemmy's laughing at. I'm a victim, and you're picking on me. You're not helping at all. Thank you, Bob. <laughs> Lemmy, what kind of bands do you like? you like ELO or anything like that? The older yeah, shit? I like ELO. I do like the older shit. If, if I were to have the auxiliary, it'd probably be Cat Stevens and Don McLean. And Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, I like I mean, the slower, lower stuff. Uh, well, yeah. it's, unfortunately, your Islamophobia just got exposed. His name's Yusuf Islam, okay? 9-11 denier. <laughs> By the way, uh, if you ask me, 9-11 was a national tragedy. Well, thank you. Thank you for sticking up for us, even though you're not allowed in this country. Yeah. I'll come see uh, Stevie Nicks. You would come here? No. Can you I'll come, come here? Uh, yeah, I, I went in uh, 2004, uh, didn't think much of it. Really? Yeah. Where'd you go? In New York. All right, well, you got to go everywhere, a little of uh, this and that. You just can't go to one fucking place. Maybe it was an off night for <laughs> New York, like you're having a fucking off day. He's so I fucking... Wanted, huh. I wanted to go to uh, the Grind Zero so I could uh, have a laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Such an evil fucking guy. That's what I love. That's what I love. So you've been betting any pigs out there? And a couple of horses. Suck the big horse dick. <laughs> that was a wonderful evening, as I must say. Well, there you go. You had a good night and you had a bad day. Who gives a fuck? Yeah, it's worth it in the end. But I'm, I'm, I'm not. I'm not going to get over this. Day. You know what I might do? In fact, you know what I'm doing tomorrow night. Yeah. Because I'm a tough guy and I can fight anybody. Mm -hmm. I'm going to a cinema that where you can buy alcohol. And there's okay. a group of us going to go see Spice World. Spice uh, World? Yeah, you know the, the epic masterpiece that Orson Welles directed the uh, of the Spice Girls? No. Fuck yeah, you do. N no, I don't. Yeah. The Spice Girls? Fuck yeah. Right, Lemmy? <laughs> I loved that movie. It was one of my favorite movies growing up. Really? 
Yep. Yeah, I, I, I love the album. I love the Spice Girls. And and the thing that's so funny about it is they put all these uh, English uh, actors in it, and, and but the problem, and they're all like older stars. Mm-hmm. Nearly every one of them has been called out or exposed as a, a what's the word you call it? A, a pedophile, a, yeah. a a lover of the youth. Yeah. So yeah, so uh, that's why you can't stream the film anywhere because eighty percent of the cast wants to fuck your kids. Is it well? You mad? Meatloaf's in it. (laughs) That's Amy Schumer. (laughs) (laughs) You still hate Amy Schumer? Not as much as I hate that piece of shit Ray (laughs) DeVito. Wait, come on! The guy was in an accident. He don't remember. Good. Even even the doctors didn't tell him what was wrong with him, which was weird. What they fixed or what was broken? I never understood that part of it. And he goes. I need a second opinion. And they go, hey, well, you're ugly, too. All right, get out of here. <laughs> hey, you're not funny. Get out of here. Hey. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Your face is going to stay that way. But I broke my toe. You heard what I said. Oh. Uh, Ray DeVito wants to have sex with Kevin Brennan. Uh, you think so? You think he would? Yeah. Like, you did, if nobody knew. If nobody knew. Oh, definitely. I I think that uh, when they were in Atlantic City, that Kevin got a little drunk and asked uh, uh, Ray to dance for him, and he performed a a sexy number to Duran Duran songs. Right, Lemmy? I could picture that, yeah. (laughs) Everybody can picture that. That's the sad thing. (laughs) Brennan, basically, it's like Ray's in prison and uh, being forced to share the cell with... uh, Brennan and, and Brennan has fucked him until he loved him. And uh so Ray now has Stockholm syndrome where you, you can't ask him any questions. It's like a Scientologist mm-hmm. defending the church or Xenu, where he's like, like, hey, Kevin Brennan's a good guy. It's like Ray were at a child funeral. Yeah, but I just thought I'd bring it up. It's like <laughs> you're the priest. He's such a nice guy, we're touring. We're touring. Is it well, Ray? Kevin was behind the wheel of that truck. He didn't mean anything by it. I got material <laughs> from it. Piece of shit. Yeah, well, hey, shit happens, man. What are you gonna fucking do? And and he and he keeps interviewing that fucking Korean woman that that spends the whole yeah. time literally talking about cum for an hour. Is that what she does? Yeah, she she paints. She says she paints with cum, and, it, and it's like. How much, I, I take it it's not from Jim Stansel's fucking factory. I wouldn't know it. Yeah, we got it. The smallest fucking painting you ever seen. <laughs> hey, what are you painting a matchbook over there? <laughs> hey! <laughs> right, Lemmy? I don't know. Maybe the smaller your dick is, the bigger your load looks. Could that be yeah. like a scientific thing? Hmm. Yeah, but the load, doesn't, the load doesn't stay you. Like, you know, when you're younger, it, it goes far and, you know, you, you have to look for it and shit sometimes when you're alone. But, like, when you get older, it's just right on the top of the helmet going, hey, how you doing? Just get the napkin, man. <laughs> then rip it in half and take it off. It's fucking, it's, it's different. It's, well, but well, you have to save days. But why did you have to uh, look for where your load go? And it was usually directly inside the arse of the guy that you were given a hitchhike to. <laughs> hey, you need a ride. Shit happened. No, but I mean, come on. Like, you don't remember it going, like, far? I'm pretty uh, youthful that way. <laughs> See, if, if women came like that, nobody would ever put their head down there. It, when women don't come, everybody knows that. No, I mean the ones that, that, that make believe they do and they piss on you. That's not fucking fun. Yeah, I, that's that's the, the, one of the, the hidden habits of women that, that they have that we don't get a, away with. Is that uh, they can piss on you during sex and, and then they make you think that it's something you've done. So you boast about it. You go, you should see how much this fucking woman it came all over me. Uh, it, it cleared up my jellyfish sting and then the room stinks, but my God, I must have a huge cock. Right, Lemmy? Hey. It's true. Squirt is pee. <laughs> Squirt is pee. <laughs> Dave Daffler, $2. Can you take a picture of it before you flush it? No, fucking, it, it's all mud. It was all mud yesterday. It was really bad. It was like, 
it, it was like I made gravy with pot roast. I mean, it just came. It was. I don't want to talk about it. Danny Thomas loved hookers shitting in his mouth for it. Hookers, are you Catholic or Protestant? I believe your last name is English. A, a hashtag fuckerlish. What? Fake Irish. Oh, fake Irish. Oh, wow. Well, now, <laughs> now it seems to make more sense, you asshole. Oh, what are you? Are you Protestant? Probably I am. And uh, neither. What are you? This racist Irish. Okay, that's good. That's a good one to be. Dave Dabla, five dollars. Bob, where can I get a good deal on puppies, candy, and an unmarked van? Uh, RayDevito.com. Yeah, don't look for it in the uh, the upcoming dates section because you won't <laughs> find anything. Oh, <laughs> Dave Dabla, two dollars. Bob has to sneeze and catch it with a, a, a two. What? No. What? <laughs> What are you talking about? It's 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 not like that, you know. Uh, Pete O'Keefe, one ninety nine. Love you in Motorhead, Lemmy. Mm. Can I do my uh, my joke about that, Bob? Okay. Yeah, uh, but sure. with that body of Lemmy, she should be in a group called Motorboat. <laughs> All he does is talk about your breast. You know that. The Ted spot. Yeah. Well, I'm trying. I'm trying to be respectful. Sorry. <laughs> trying to get on Saturday Night Live again? <laughs> yes. I'm going to send it a tape. Can be cleaned up for TV. That seems to not work. So why not? Let me, let me actually become... Um, ever since the Stutter and John thing, Lemmy became very famous within the, the whole... Mm -hmm. do, do we still call it the Dabbleverse or, or whatever? The, the Civil War? Who knows War? what it's called anymore? Yeah, and uh, Sulemi became a star, and the the sexual harassment began immediately, and it's never stopped. All I ever get is people saying, "Fucking Lemmy, am I right, guys?" Yeah, it's you. You're the one that's fucking doing it. You fucking creep. Yeah, but I, I charge them to say, all, "All all those <laughs> dirty old men sit in the corner, go, hey, she's big knockers." <laughs> hey, the last time I seen a pair of jugs like that, two bill hillbillies were blowing into them. Oh! <laughs> what the fuck is the matter with you? <laughs> I want my tickets. <laughs> you got to come out here. You got to come out to the States, you know? Really. Fucking come out. Just stop being a pussy. You know, you can't be stuck there. You, you know, you, you, you go to concerts by yourself. It's no way to live. I actually did it again recently. Went to go see Simple Minds mm -hmm. alone. I, I, but I'm not. I'm not not going to shows anymore. I had no idea Ray Devito had a band. Ah. <laughs> Simple uh, uh, roasted. There you go. <laughs> yeah, uh, all the songs were about uh, Kevin Brennan. Uh, don't you forget about all. Oh, I know it. No, I'm just going to drop that. I was about to say one of those words. Yeah, cause I'm not, I'm not missing out on anything anymore. So no. fuck them all. I'm I'm going to everything. I'm going to go to uh uh what's uh, the next one I've got coming up is in May. Tenacious mm -hmm. D. Okay, yeah, my wife loves it, him. That oh. music too. I mean, we hear it in the car. I'm like, hey, it's pretty good. Yeah, no, she told me. <laughs> You and your tenacious D. Uh, yeah. Dave Daffler, two five dollars. Okay, the dripping brother. Wait, that dripping bothers Lemmy. There's no fucking dripping. Okay, Ryan A one ninety nine. Barb, how good is it to have? To, how good is it not to have to split with Shuli? Uh, I'll split money with Shuli. Uh, well, whatever. You know, we're just having fun here. You know. Do what the fuck we want to do, you know, have a little fun, dance a little. Dave Dabble, you know, besides Oasis, what's your favorite boy band, Bob? That's bullshit. Everybody calls them a boy band, and that fucking that's 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 they're not. They they were actually they they tried to sound like the Beatles. Everybody knows that. But they were good. Yeah, the, the Oasis are basically uh, a mixture of the Sex Pistols and the Beatles, only much better and actually Irish. Well, they're fucking lunatics. But, like, look, I mean, boy bands, like, what? Uh, what are some boy bands that uh, that, are, that are good? You know what I mean? There's, there's nothing. 
I like a lot of uh, Backstreet Boys and the the Jackson Five. And what's that one you played on the show, Lemmy? O Town. Yep. Yeah, it's so fucking cheesy, but it's actually good. If you, but but uh, music videos ruin mm-hmm. it for boy bands. Like they have good songs, but they look like such a bunch of uh, F and Qs that it, that it's like, ugh, I don't know if I can like this tank top guy. Uh, or the the black one. <laughs> I liked in sync a lot growing up, and how dare you throw me under the bus for playing O Town? That was a secret. That was a secret. That was not supposed to get. <laughs> it was a celebration. I, uh, I, I've actually become a, a regular to listener of Lemmy's show. It's basically what would what would you say it is? It's like a a, a Twitch version of TRL from MTV. Nice. Or. or a, one of those uh, call-in radio shows. Uh, I want you to play the uh, Simple Mind song for me, uh, and then she does it while completely stoned. And every once in a while, whenever yeah. Big Tits falls out, and then you go, "Yay!" Screenshots. <laughs> <laughs> what time do you go on in the morning? I see it's really early because when I see your tweet, it's usually five hours later. But it's <laughs> like it's like you were going on. What time is it? Seven. Eight thirty Eastern. Eight thirty. Okay. Yeah, I never, I never, by the time I see shit, it's so fucked up Twitter with, uh, you can't, like, it, it, some days it works perfect, some days it's like, I don't even know where people are anymore, so, I uh, fuck that shit, I don't, I don't, I don't, that's why I don't go on it much, I, uh, it's now I post pictures of my dog, what am I gonna fucking say, you but know? The, the, the thing, is, the way Lammy does it though, is that I could easily see Twitch overtaking uh, YouTube, because like, we could be playing this talking mm-hmm. about like oasis to the sex pistols to the simple minds and actually have some uh, what's the tune what's the term you use it tune skis in the background <laughs> uh listen to uh, the you know american history x songs all that good stuff uh i, I just it's and with youtube like you, you can't do anything i'll not mm-hmm. say the word but do you know the the superhero film that had uh harley quinn in it and there was a group of villain villains, the the you know that one, the squad. You, you can't no. say the first part of it because it'll get you flagged on YouTube. Oh Jesus! Yeah, remember Mash had the theme song. A certain yeah. word is painless. I never really sat there and thought about the fucking words in that. Yeah, it's like there I is wish... no song in the Mash. Is it's just fucking the guitar, right? Yeah, it's like I wish Ray DeVito would commit. <laughs> Harry Carey. Yeah. People are saying, oh, Joe 316, uh, the Monkees. Is that a boy band? Are we talking about the Jackson 5 again? <laughs> no, we're talking about. Uh, oh, Davy Jones. Davy Jones and, oh. uh, and and the guy that came out, his mother came out with Whiteout, which did I she? actually did when I, yeah, when I was uh, a kid. Uh, yeah. You just shoot a load and cover shit with it, it goes right away. <laughs> Yeah, I, I produce wide out every time I'm watching Lemmy stream, which you can only find <laughs> on Twitch. Everybody follow on Twitter and uh, join in the fun. <laughs> Lemmy's trying to relax, uh, drinking coffee, talking to people on the show. Little does she know there's like 27 people <laughs> furiously masturbating as much as they can while before she turns the stream off. <laughs> that's a, that's her. Oh, that could be a good contest. How many can you get out in the whole show? Ooh, and what happens to the loser? He gets <laughs> to the... clean up the rest. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think happens? God damn it. Thank you, uh, baby uh, Sacamo. Get lift, uh, gifted one Levy verse membership. Do, 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 do. You get the horn for that. It's always the horn. And that's what you get. Uh, Dave Davila, five so I don't have to return your Backstreet <laughs> Boys. Eight. No, you can fucking keep it because I don't fucking need that shit. All right, they have one good song. I did. What's that song that they do? Uh, I want it that way. Yeah, I want it that way. And you know what that means. That's how they got their record contract, doing it that way. Ian Bernstein, member, one month. Bob, I have to go see a friend in prison for the first time today. Any advice? Yeah, just don't have anything in your fucking pockets. That's it. You know, everything's fine. Uh, Is it sexual? Uh, Are you having one of those things where you guys can have sex? Uh, it, it, you know, if it is, uh, you'll be in there a few hours and 
They'll send you on the way, but you can't have lunch with them. Mighty Horse, member one month. Bob, can you say hi to my buddy, John Gulbon? Bonnie, mm. thanks, Rev. <laughs> hi, uh, John uh, Gulbonnie. Okay, we fucking got you. There you go, Mighty Horse. Look at how happy Anthony is. Dave Davila, who does warning, Bob is not liable for any time given. Uh, look, I'm not telling people times anymore. You show up and that's it. But baby Sacamo, two dollars. How's the hamburger helper in Ireland? They're, they're, if you, had, it, it's the worst fucking shit in the world. Do you, do you use that shit? I have no idea what it is. I thought he was calling me a F and R. Yeah, well, that's true. You are. Tom Gully Show. It's Michael Nesmith. His mother came out with Whiteout. Can you fucking believe that? Something as simple as that. And I I came up with the butter straw, and it went nowhere. But I'm going to rebrand it, and then it'll be perfect. Because there'll be butter all over all the popcorn, because the straw has holes in it, and it hooks up to the machine. Hmm. And you, it comes into it, and it... <laughs> So you invented something that comes on your food? Yeah, basically. I, I, I thought of it when I was younger, when I was able to shoot the big load. <laughs> you you were at the cinema watching Showgirls. You were whacking off, and you thought, oh, wouldn't it be great if you could eat this shit? Right, Lemmy? <laughs> right, Lemmy. <laughs> yeah, we got it, Dave. Uh, Nesmith. We were off by fucking uh, two. Two fucking uh, whatever they're called. Dave Daffel, a gifted five Levy verse membership. Do, 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 do. Thank you. Go get them, people. We'll be doing a behind the wall later. Uh, well, probably in April we'll start it. Chris Abel's 490. Bob, did you ever see Noel and Liam dead? Sam, Sh watermelon. Uh, P.S. Hello, Hoogly and Lemmy. Who is that? I don't know what the fuck he's talking about. He's probably drunk again. Probably Liam and Noel Gallagher, but I don't know what he... Oh, because of the uh, the comedian Gallagher? Oh, jeez. Oh, okay. Shut the fuck up. Jesus fucking... You know, when he, that humor might work in West Virginia, but not here. Uh, Johnny Boy 490. Bob, you look like you smell like pee. Wash that coat and take the dog out. Love you, too. Uh, no, I don't smell like pee, God damn it! I, I smell pretty fucking good for a fucking human, okay? Dave Davila, you know, how much for the Bobby Sherman poster? I'm not selling it, and you fucking know it, so fucking stay away from it, okay? Dave Davila, $2, that's because you were late in the chat. I'm everywhere. I'm always fucking late. It looks jizz-stained. Everything is jizz-stained. If you fucking go into a hotel on the road, there's cum on everything, and that's a fact. Because I I've hit a lamp, okay, on the road, so I know that there's come everywhere, and they can't. You go uh, go in there with a, a what is it, a black light, and see. Go in your room, look, hoogly, even your drapes covered with it, covered yeah. with it. But that that's because I watched the Twitch stream here. Yeah, what's it called? It's called church. Churches are all about coming. You say you say hello. Uh, can you play uh, Hungry Like the Wolf by Duran Duran, please? <laughs> and then uh, you, you, you enjoy the video, you catch your breath back, and you get back to work. Yeah. Uh, you know, well, well, good question here. Bob, are you pro-ass eating? Yes, I am totally for it. And any uh, Ugly, are you uh, an ass eater back in the day or today? Uh, absolutely. Uh it, it that's what it's there for. We we gonna fucking talk to it. <laughs> <laughs> the the most women like that, Lemmy. You think, or the the most women just don't say anything when it's happened. They they never turn around. And go, are you gonna eat my ass? Like they don't <laughs> ask you that. Some women do. Some women are pretty open about that sort of thing. Yeah, I mean, it's not. You know what I mean? As long as you're not hurt, you know, uh, emotionally. I think it's fine. The the thing about that sort of stuff is it really comes back to uh, like trust and hygiene. Like you're not just going to randomly meet someone at the bar mm -hmm. uh, unless you want to end up with a Michael Douglas throat. You're not yeah. going to instantly get stuck into that. You've got to make sure that they've had a wash. Like if they're walking around with the Daily News under their shoulder, <laughs> you go mm, probably not tonight. 
<laughs> Walking around like Pat Dixon. I yeah. wonder if anybody's going to eat my ass today. I had seven shits today. Yeah, yeah. All that hitting women that uh, builds yeah, up a sweat in your ass. Because <laughs> you're not when you're eating a woman's ass. You're not just eating her ass. You're eating ten other women's asses. So you yeah. got to remember that. That's that being said, thing. when you do find a good one, you uh, really make a spectacle. Because like, what what do you think's been eaten more? By the way. Uh, Pizza for hungover people or Jennifer Lopez's arse? Well, that's a big, like that, that's, that's something you can sit down and put a handkerchief on the, you know, around your neck and fucking stay there for a while. <laughs> I'm, no, I'm just saying that that's, you know, that's what you want. You want to enjoy, you know, a little bit, go out and have a cigarette. I'll be right back. Yeah. Keep that ass open. No, because that's the whole thing about it. It's got to be so weird to, Date Jennifer Lopez for the first time because you're 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 trying to politely talk to her mm-hmm. and be like, oh yes, yeah, I'm a big fan of your your career and uh, uh, your charity work and the and the the, the singing. That is, can I eat your arse now? Or because because I because it, it will be the first thing I'll do when you consent to it. So how about I just do it right now? And uh, that's probably why Ben Affleck mm-hmm. has his chin has grown because he's developed muscle. Because he married Jennifer Lopez, and all he does is 20 more seconds. <laughs> yeah, right, you Lenny? can't ask somebody. Lenny, right? you can't ask a girl to eat her ass. you just got to do it, right? Yes. That, yeah. Yeah, because if, you, just if, gotta if do you, it. If you ask, they're going to say no because they're going to think it's creepy. But if you just happen to be, you know, around the kitchen, you know? Mm. There's usually a garbage can in it, so <laughs> why not? <laughs> you know what? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> you know? uh, I'm like she... George Costanza eating a fucking donut out of the fucking <laughs> out of the garbage can. I don't give a shit, you know. <laughs> but a woman will, you know, if a woman ain't ready for it, they're, they're gonna shoo you away like a horse's tail. You know, they, they always put their hand back there and try to scoot you away. But no, once you get in, once you're in, and you fucking you're locked and you have your arms wrapped apart and you, you can't hear her saying that's fucking what's the matter what are you doing because your <laughs> your fucking head is buried in there and your ears are covered with the ass flap i mean it's it, it's on it's on yeah and also it, it also proves to be hygienic you know it's make sure that uh, there's not too much fiber in the diet let's uh clean up and be ready you could be uh, getting your arse eaten at any time so prepare that goes for all of you uh, lovely yeah. ladies and uh, prisoners out there you have to be ready at any time am i right yeah it's it's the it, it's it's just a fact you know what i mean like it even when you went to clubs and that stuff and uh you end up going and then like like back then you didn't have the stuff to to you know i guess to clean the pussy right and the pubic it was so fucking hairy that like there'd be fucking breadcrumbs in it and fucking you know a cigarette butt like anything can fall into it so it it didn't sometimes you were like what the fuck you basically (laughs) had to hold your breath sometimes and that's fucking scary but the uh, the legacy of the arsehole has gone out the window uh, mm-hmm. with the the legacy of the album because do you remember it used to be I can't wait to get this album and read the liner notes and all this stuff because it, yeah. it, it but nobody gives a fuck about albums anymore. Uh, no. Anal play is just it's something that you do for a bit of fun. Like arse eating is as common as uh, Ray DeVito bombing. Yeah, and plus she can still read a book. Like, it doesn't affect me if she's reading a book and mm. I'm doing that, you know? I'm more offended that she's reading a book. I I do think that, yeah, if, if a woman can read, that's a real turnoff. It, it really is. If I see books in the house, I'm like, what is that? Why why, why do you have that? She has to explain what, what the book is about and why she has it because I – I don't believe in books. I, I, I don't look at it as a fun fucking time sitting there and reading, you know. Oh, that's my reading chair. What the fuck is that, you know? Yeah, yeah it's like, hey, did you enjoy your book? I was busy watching Fast and the Furious <laughs> 7, the one with the sword fight at the end, like a normal person. Right, Lemmy? <laughs> uh, volume's done. <laughs> 
good because I didn't mean it. <laughs> Look at this, Dave Davila, five dollars. Lemmy, you you're a pro. Yes, she is. There's mm. no doubt about it. We we love Lemmy. I mean, when she had that, that fight with uh, that girl, oh, that mm. was just like, it, it, I, I don't know. It was like. If I was single, I would have been whacking off because that was a brutal win by Lenny and Lemmy, and I love it. Dave Davila, two dollars. Lemmy, your gun permit was approved. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, Lemmy, I meant to ask you about that uh, Cape Meany thing. Did you mm. have the line lose weight in your arms? Did you have that ready to go, and she just set you up for it, or was it just well, something that happened that come up at the time? It just came up. I, I almost wasn't even on that episode because I was like, listen, I don't like stirring John. He makes my skin crawl. I should probably yeah. not go on this episode because I'm not going to be nice if I'm asked a question by him. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm, I am I'm, don't want to be a target. Yeah, but, I know but he came at it. you right away, which was yeah. weird, you know? And, it, and it's like it's like you don't come in to somebody else's thing like that, not knowing people in that. But when you with the arm thing with uh, her, when you bring up the arm thing, what what does she do? She starts saying, "Oh, I'm going to the gym. I'm working on my arm." Like that's the you you're not ready for this. If if you're going to the gym because somebody said you have fat arms, whether it's true or not, you're not. This is not where you should be. You know, you shouldn't be doing this shit. Because everything that ha oh I don't I haven't drank in a few days now and it's all bullshit that you try to cover up for mm. for what people say. Come on, it's fucking rookie shit. You'll never last in this, you know. Let, let me uh, burn her so badly that Kit Mini a few days or weeks later messaged uh, Lemmy to apologize. So basically. Kate Meany came in and started the bar fight. Let me beat the shit out of her. So the person came back to say, listen, I had a few too many brewskis. I was at the, the Rock Bottom Live recording, and uh, it all went wrong. And uh, <laughs> it, it, this was, uh, you, you don't met. That's the thing about Lemmy, is it? Because <clears throat> she likes getting stoned and chilling out, but yeah. she's also incredibly smart, and she's like one of them, they fancy book learners. I ain't no one no shit. Let me let me knows what's going on, and uh, yeah. she just waits, picks. She's basically uh, Mike Tyson of the late eighties. She she sits mm -hmm. there, waits, sees a spot, and makes fun of your arms. <laughs> I know how it feels, man. I, I had fat arms. I had fat arms at one point. Husey saw him the other day. I showed a picture of me fat on my stream. So I know how yeah. insecure a girl can be about her arms. Yeah, she that's was insecure what, about it. Yeah, I didn't actually see that. I just zoomed in on the test. I was like, oh. <laughs> 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 You're such a fucking maniac. Dave Daffle gifted five memberships. Do, 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 do. Get in there and fucking get them, you fucks. Uh, Danny Thomas, you know who he is. Hey, Hoogly, is it true you wear orange on St. Patrick's Day? Uh, uni on this, on this toss. What is that? Would it, don't use words like that. What does that mean? Uh, he, he thinks I'm a, a Protestant. Oh, okay, okay. Well, why why is he so mad about this shit? Because his dad sucked his dick when he was a kid. Eh, well, there you go. You know, sometimes they were a little short on the allowance, and they had to make it up. <laughs> Ryan A, one ninety nine. Bob, what are you starting? What are you starting Hoogly salary at? Zero? No, no. He'll get some money this uh, this week. Yeah. He's going to be a rich nine. man. <laughs> Dave Daffler, 2000. Is there grass on the field? Play ball? Look, <laughs> enough of what the fuck. Uh, oh, you're talking about that. So you're talking about my fucking lawn, you cocksuckers. Yeah, well, the thing is that there's grass in the field, field play ball, but at the same time, the uh, fields are... are mode for for a reason you don't need too much hair looks like you're fucking trying to fight braveheart well Am especially right? in the allergy season it really fucking you know what i mean it, it, it one little tickle and you're fucking like sneezing down there nobody wants you to sneeze in their pussy i mean <laughs> I, I read a book on that you know don't sneeze in the pussy it's not a good fucking thing you know Is that true lily i don't know my pussy's never been sneezed on so i wouldn't be able to make that call 
There you go. She cuts it down. She keeps the forest low. That's what it is. You have to always redo the forest. That's the way it is. You know, you can't just let it grow. That's the My Lost Interest clip. Lemmy's pussy is nothing to sneeze at. (laughs) (laughs) But uh, I got to ask Lemmy, because how did you lose the weight? I got a job in a kitchen. And I had to walk to work, to and from work every day. I was heavy lifting stuff. And I stopped eating. I stopped cook- I I went from a family of four to mm-hmm. a family of just me and my new husband. So I was still mm-hmm. cooking for like four people and eating okay. all that food. So mm-hmm. I blew up. And then my mom told me I looked like Eric Cartman one year. Wow. Yeah. And she That'll shamed me. It. Yep. And I lost I got a job and lost weight. You see but- that I like this idea. Hoogly, we open up a place shaming fat people. Mm. And I think it does help. It it might be, you know, besides breaking their jaw so they can't eat. I mean, I, I think by shaming them a little bit, it'll help them because everyone's like, oh, you, you did so good today. No, you didn't. You, you know what I mean? You walked three feet. We'll call it uh, the meanie arms. <laughs> I think it but only the- works if somebody that you love shames you. Like it was my mother, and she was like, yeah. "Your little ankles can't fucking hold that. Your frame is not meant for two hundred pounds. I'm worried well, your heart's gonna explode. You're my daughter. I made you." Yeah, no, that's good. You know, I, I mean, but that that explains why you're you're mentally tough because people that work in food places <clears throat> have to deal with stupid, miserable, complaining, angry, hungry fuckers all day. So, but you can't fight back because that's where you work. Mm-hmm. So that, so let me just store that up and took it out on Kim, ain't he? That's not so entirely you, untrue. Yeah, <laughs> so, so you guys are like, uh, have you been taught? Uh, she hit you up. Have you talked to her after you? Still no, she's you? she has since blocked me. Oh, okay. Ooh. You see, that's a yeah, this this will work out well. You know. <laughs> I don't care. Look, you, that's what it is. It's like people change every day. They, you know, they go from liking you to not liking you, and it, 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 most of it's for material. I think I do believe that. You know, because there's no way. Like you, you see people every day in your life, in regular life, and it's not like that. You know, and all of a sudden you need something to talk about. There you go. We'll do that. I'm mad at this person. It's all bullshit. Bob slip member one month two one three okay. So Would you call him Ball Slip? Well, yeah, whatever his name is, I don't know. Dave Daffler, two dollars. <laughs> Fun fact: Pied Pop, Pied Pop, Pied Pied Piper was a wop. Look, there's no fucking facts about that. We don't know that for uh, for sure. Uh, Jason, one member one month. Eric Cartman is so hot. You see, there you go. <laughs> uh-huh. You, you you have a fan there where you see you could go back to it and you have him. Uh, Taco Bell helper is great. Nothing that helps any food is good. Okay? And it's not like that. Hi, honey. How are you? Hello, my lady. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> uh, Hello, blokes. No, but I do believe if we had that, uh, like a, a fad farm we, we bring people to, and then we just, we, have, we set up a stage, and then we have mm. them come in one at a time i think it would be i think it would be very profitable profitable yeah but all, all the tables would be on stairs <laughs> so you would have to walk up steps to get to your table ah you see anything like that that would be good make them exercise while they're doing it you know i like that i like that day yeah oh my god yes uh, not that one. Uh, this one. Born wrong fat farm. You know, because I have the born wrong ministries coming. But we, we, you can be born wrong again. So if you're already born wrong, I'll make you born wrong again. So that's coming at the end of the month. Uh, and the end of the month is almost fucking here. Jesus fucking Christ. It fucking flies. When you get to a certain age, you're like, what the fuck is going on? Yeah. You count, you start going, okay, this person died at 70. I'm like, oh, that's great. Nine years away. Whenever you <laughs> see the, all these people dying, like I'm always looking at the ages of, I, I watched a thing last year. No, last night it was about from 2023 of all the celebrities that kind of died, you know, and they did some wrestlers and everything on YouTube. And it's like amazing. It's amazing. Like some of them are like, 
61 and i'm like i'm 60 i had to turn it off i was so fucking depressed i'm like i we've already started having people from uh our class school are starting to die and then you think what the fuck how how can can people be dying at our age and it's like yeah well we're 40 and we've all been drinking from when we're like 12 years old so yeah it catches up yeah, and another thing is I had a big announcement last week. Uh, <laughs> Tony Bennett died, you know, but it was in the fucking thing. It said Tony Bennett, uh, singer, dies, and it was from two years ago, but it was, in the, it was in the news feed. I don't know what the fuck is going on. I'm trying to put together a show. I'm like, fuck it. I just rather yell about shit. Dave Davila, five dollars. Chris Abels, I'm still hurting from last night's show. Yeah, and uh, the, uh, that show will be coming here on Wednesday nights and Fridays. Uh, so if you want to see replayables, you can come here and see it. Uh, it'll be fun. Uh, and, you know, I've known Chris and Bobby for a long, you know, I've known Chris a long, long, long time. And uh, Bobby, they're just great dudes. And uh, you will see. It'll it'll be fun. They'll have a place to do a long show. Two joints. It's a 97-year-old Chad. Look, everybody, there was people that died at 95 and that or 102 and it's just like they they don't even have a call you there's no cause for a death at that time you know what i mean Mm -hmm. they won't even say heart failure or anything Uh, natural causes there's no such thing as a natural fucking cause you're either alive or you're dead there's a reason why you're fucking dead you stupid fucks (laughs) it just makes me fucking sick hey I'm definitely going to die. Trust me. Oh, it'll be soon, hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> hopefully not before Ray DeVito. Uh, Ray will live forever because, uh, you know, he, he doesn't worry about anything, I don't think. The only thing he worries about is Kevin. Yeah, the, the thing that, that's so frustrating about Ray is that when you hear with, with uh, Brennan paying him per year, it's like nine grand a year. Yeah. It's not out of the question that Ray could easily make triple that himself from his own show. Yeah. Uh, per per month if he ever get lucky enough. Mm-hmm. So Ray keeps relying on other people instead of figuring out. I gotta do it myself. Well, that's it's why he's in the position he is. You know, it, that's what it is. He doesn't go out and say, "Hey, I'm an, I'll go do it a weekend," but this is how much money I want. And he does what they they offer him and Mm. you're never going to get more money doing that it just doesn't work that way yeah and it's a shit like with with this he has to get away from doing the fucking the the live streaming stuff because he he keeps uh because of kevin brennan they now think how he tells them to think so they just get ray on and trash the shit out of him and that carries on over to his own show. So how the fuck is any of this helping? He keeps doing the same shit. It's not working. And me and Lemmy are getting really pissed off about it. Right, Lemmy? No, I can tell. Yeah. <laughs> no, it, it's it's the truth. It, it is. Because his, his, his stream was never like that. It was always just fun people in it. But I, I'm sure he's not happy. Right? You know, some people are in there that he doesn't like at all that are just you know digging up stuff on him and that stuff he never should have left the Shuli network he made a stupid fucking decision he doesn't think ahead and look at you know it's like the girl uh leaving you in the 60s to go with her new boyfriend ike turner yes uh how'd that work out yeah, I know. But, now now she's back. I seen that she died that year, and I'm like, now that she's dead, Ike's going to be fucking hitting her up there now. <laughs> you see, that, that's what I'm thinking. He's going to be like, hey, come here. I didn't mean it. Smack. You come know? on, baby. <laughs> uh, how many times you think she got her arse eating back in the day? She had some set of pins on her. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, she she looked good when she died. Like like Cher, I don't know what the fuck they work. I don't know how they get work like that that makes them not look old at all. But she was she's like seventy something, and the the two pictures look alike from when she was twenty something. Hmm. What about Cher's uh, child, Chaz Bono? Do you think he's a good guy? Well, yeah, yeah. Now, does he have a? Uh, he has a penis, right? I hope so. 
<laughs> hey, there, we all we all hope so. Dave Davila, two dollars. Bob, take your arm off so we can count the rings, please. God damn it. I, I fucking I look good for my fucking age, god damn it. And that's a fucking fact. And everybody knows that. Chair son, shut the fuck up. Uh Dave Davila, two dollars. <laughs> can I buy you plus one for boys to men con? Uh if Ugly comes here, if Ugly comes, we'll go. I'd go to boys to men. Uh, it wouldn't be the first time you did that. <laughs> yeah. That was a very awkward time when I thought it was a delivery service instead of a boy band. <laughs> like, sorry, Father uh, Levy. <laughs> you got problems. <laughs> uh, Deng Lizard, uh, $5 E. Thank you. Get the KB action figure, new and exclusive on Ray DeVito's secret Discord store. Ray's Discord store. He can't be associated with that. Well, that's what it is. He can't. He couldn't even mention Melton's name, it will, and he's not even plugging the gig Melton was saying. How fucked up is that? You know, it, it's useless. Yeah, the the thing is, I don't see how any of this stuff helps Ray at all, and it's not even like funny making fun of him. It's just like mean spirited, awkward. Excuse me. Uh, it's just like awkward mood ruining shit. And it's a shame because this time a year ago, mm. Ray had a lot of like fun momentum going. He had yeah. two shows. He had a lot of a social interaction. He had that Airy Jane thing going, and sure. now it's now it's just fucking everybody's uh, dunking on him. And uh, if anyone's ever recording with Ray, send me the link so that I can jump on to say hello. <laughs> Dave Zaffler, two dollars. Uh, Perry likes new dogs on the block. Uh, yeah, I mean, look, if we go to that concert, it's gonna be. You think it's gonna be like all girls, or it's gonna be all guys? Uh, all milfs. <laughs> you think so? I don't think that the youth is in the new kids on the block. Uh, it'll be a bunch of. Uh, I should say cougars. I think uh, there's, there's there's a lot of cougars out there who are better looking than women in the twenties. Yeah, I believe a lot that of too. Girl, girls in the twenties to me just look like kids. I like a yeah. woman that knows her way around an arse eating. Yeah, <laughs> knows her way around cock and balls. You know. Yeah. That's what it is. <laughs> if you if you if you pick up a young girl at a bar, right? You wouldn't know what was happening. If you picked up an older woman at a bar, you knew you were gonna fuck her. Yeah, yeah, it's just a fact. You know what I mean? It's like then they're, they're not. What do you think they want to go out? They're out to just get dick and bring it back. You know? Yeah, they want to do a few more whiskey shots and potentially, if you drove, mm -hmm. uh, hopefully the back seat has enough for their uh, caboose, as they say in the streets. Right, Lemmy? <laughs> yeah, the sadder but wiser girl, right? <laughs> it's sadder. It's a yeah. song from the Music Man. The sadder oh. but wiser girl for me. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Terry Knee, Bob is stunningly handsome at night. I am. Uh, I got to hang out with Terry Knee last week. We had a good time. Definitely a guy I'd love to hang out with more. Uh, Does he grow? Fun. What? Does he grow? Does he grow? Yeah. What are you talking about? You say his name with grow. What the fuck? Are you, you're out of your fucking mind. <laughs> Mason in Portland, a.k.a. $20. Thank you. Haku's husband is watching. Be sure to tell him to tune in at 4 for Auntie Karen. Yeah, Kevin, come on in. Imagine you can come on anytime somebody's on because you have no fucking life. I love it. I fucking love it. You know, uh, what, what, that's the other thing that's weird about Ray. He keeps talking about MLC like it's fucking the the the, the Stern Show Opie and mm -hmm. Anthony back in the day. Mm -hmm. uh, MLC consistently has half the audience that the WATP live streams or the yeah. Shuli net. So yeah. how does that help him by being on the smaller show that only has listeners that make fun of him? Ray is a stupid fucking uh, cunt. <laughs> Exactly. Chris Abel's 999. Hi, KB. Uh, I mean, KB. Keep sniping. Yeah, hack. Yeah, hack. 
You know, you know the funny thing is his audience, like he'll still have you know the this, this same suckers every day, but uh, the people, the, the show has just become garbage, and they'll they'll all be gone. The numbers will go down as long as he gets his super chats. He don't care because he's only in it for the super chats, and then he gets off when they but, stop coming in. Yeah, it's just getting like a, a bad vibe too, where he gets people who are like down on their luck and are, are broke and need the money yeah. badly. Yeah. So he's like, so he basically, he gets hoes that he starts pimping them out. Mm-hmm. And then he can take away that money at any time. So now these people who have become accustomed to the financial benefit are just like, uh, they're the back to sucking dick for free. Uh, yeah. Right, Lemmy? I, I think yeah. Lemmy's going to overtake MLC. She's getting popular, whether you like it or not. There's good music. You can whack off to it. She's yeah. got a good sense of humor, and it's funny when she's really stoned. Oh yeah, it's always good when you're stoned, and that's the way to do it. Uh, Dave Davila, two dollars. Bob, what's your favorite show tune? Not gonna talk about it. Okay, there is no fucking show tunes that I ever fucking watch or listen to. What's the biggest? Who has the biggest teats? Kevin Brenny or Stuttering John? Uh, it's hard to say at this point. <laughs> Look, Kevin's numbers are wrecking you in five minutes. Who gives a fuck? He, I live in his fucking head. I live in his fucking goddamn burnt fucking dickhead that he has. Are you fucking kidding me? The fucking guy is so heartbroken that I broke up with him, the little pussy boy. <laughs> I, I think that is what's driving Kevin so mad recently is that there's all these people that he looks down on that are above him. Mm-hmm. Like, he keeps trashing Carl, and Carl's making, what, fucking six figures a year from yeah. a show. And that's mm-hmm. not even including all the, all the other ones that he does. So, exactly. So, how is Carl? He's a fucking loser. He's like, hi. In what way? Yeah, like if, if the way he looks at it, uh, you know, you're a loser if you don't make money. You know what I mean? But it, it, it always change. It's two sides. He takes both sides to everything. He'll change his talk that he had at the beginning and come around the other way with the same bullshit. You know, it's it's just pathetic. But that's what he is. He's a fucking pathetic, feeble fucking coward. And I live in his fucking head. Okay, so go fuck yourself and fuck everything around you. Dave Davila, two dollars. Judy Garland, Mark Harris, or Streisand. I'd have to go with Judy Garland only because uh, she was in a good movie. Uh, I'm have to go with Streisand, and I'm raging that I haven't requested that on Lemmy Stream. The song that Barbara Streisand has, you know, "Guilty." And we got no. nothing to be guilty of. Our yeah. love. With the Bee Gees, it's fucking amazing. The Bee Gees. You see, you would go see them too. You're the same fucking kind of guy that would go and show up for them. Uh, Fuck well, one, yeah. How many are dead now? Uh, two. Okay. Three. So it's just the B. Yeah, it's just the uh, uh, the OG. But the th- I think, but that, that's a good thing about Lemmy Stream is that you get to hear all these old school guilty pleasure songs, or and mm-hmm. nobody's afraid to admit that they're a. Yeah, it's all right. You see, music is everything. I'm telling you. It, it, when you're sad, when you're happy, it all works. That's what's so good about music. And that's why, you know, if you like all different, like I like anything from like Sabbath to Oasis, you know what I mean? Mm. But not much, you know, I, I can't go any worse than, you know, I lower, like not, not saying that Oasis sucks, but I'm saying it, it's different. It's it's totally different. You you listen to Pink Floyd and you're like, wow, this is fucking amazing. I like listening to full albums now outside. Mm. We get the the vinyl play, but but, but let me. I gotta ask you because you you uh, nine out of ten times avoid all this drama shit. Mm-hmm. What what do you think, Lemmy, of all this like MLC fucking keeping people on a payroll and dropping them and feuding with everybody? All this shit. I think old men who do this have big ideas <laughs> and then when they try to do them and they fail, they get really, really irritated about it because they're old men and they demand respect and success and all that stuff. So they get frustrated. And I think a lot of it, 
a lot of it's kept going for views and content purposes. Oh, totally, totally, totally right. You know, but that look, that that's all that, that he can do. So he, he's a bag of shit uh, with no talent. Dave Dabble, two dollars. Donny Osmond is a little bit rock and roll. Yeah, Don, Marie still looks good. Okay, yeah. even though they do the commercials from far away, have you noticed how far away she is in the commercials? Y- you'll for, see. Further away to shoot and catch her with one of their old ropes, right, Lemmy? <laughs> Greg Bottle, hi Bob, hi Lanny, hi Ugly. You see? Hello. Hello. Mason in Portland, uh, five dollars. Thank you. Kevin gets to put in the Tongan dead crib every time he calls Zuli Shuli by accident. Yeah, you think he calls his wife by Shuli? He had to. I guarantee it. You know. I don't think I, they talk. Yeah, that's true. Jay Wolfstein, $2. Uh, does the stream have fuck sauce or na- napkin yet? No, we don't. Not yet, you know? Not not at all. But he definitely called his wife Shuli. I guarantee it. Because that's all that's on his fucking mind. That's yeah, but- it just it, it kills him that we fucking maul him every day in numbers. And that's a fucking fact. You, you see to really piss him off, you should try and get a... Ray back on, and Chad and Stevie Lou and Pat Dixon. You should actually give them their own show on the Shuli Network. <laughs> just, it's just a, to a piss of Kevin off. Yeah, it's just a lot of work because then you have the producer guys. They have to do everything. You know, if people have their own producer, it's a lot easier. Mm. Like replayable. I got something they could fucking produce. Yeah. Can produce a hard on in your fucking mouth. No, but uh, I don't think I don't, I don't think we, they want you know. It's it just that we never know when we're going on, and uh, you know to have shows on at certain times, it's hard for us to go. We're gonna go on now, and we, then we have to wait, and it fucks everything up. Dave Davila, two dollars. Bob, take naps. Ask for kids. I fucking love naps. I fucking. I fucking love taking naps. Are you can everyone can make fun of it because I fucking love it. Julie should send a signed picture of himself to Kevy's wife. Yeah, she came out to meet him. Uh, Shuli said, "Is she uh, is she attractive, Kevin's wife? I hear she's a good looking woman." Well, Kevin said she used to be when John asked him. That's not a good thing to say, <laughs> especially to John, because that was right on his show. <laughs> Yeah, your wife is very pretty. Well, she used to be. But let, but let me. What do you think about all this stuff with the Shuli and the, with the Kevin Brennan and fucking uh, uh, Melton? Do you think it's fake or real? I think it's real, just drawn out, over over dramatized. It's probably yeah. all real. They probably yeah, have real it, issues. There's a little hate, but it's always exaggerated. I yeah. think. You know, it's mm. just good. It's good for business, you know, mm-hmm. because there's so many people that fucking just uh, love to see people destroy each other. That, that's that's and that's what they come for. If you can make your bullshit interesting and monetize it, all the more power to you, honestly. Mm. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, Buddy Lee, uh, we need to take Ugly catfishing. Yeah. Do you go fish? No. No, you see, he, he doesn't have no fun. You know, he doesn't know what to do. You know? I got a rod, though, let me. <laughs> yeah. you and I'm actually rod. catfishing you. I'm a 73-year-old black man who lives in a basement in Oregon. <laughs> now I'm he's done. really hard. <laughs> right. hey! I didn't even have to request a song for that one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. That would be fucking funny. But you jerking off to an older black man. Well, that's what uh, Stuttering John does. He thinks about his wife and, you know. He doesn't want to go on a world tour with me. This is uh, depressing, you know. That's that's the thing about SJ. It's that uh, I, I uh, all joking aside, is that I remember when my stepdad had his heart attack, how rapidly the weight gain he got around his face and neck. Mm-hmm. And you can see this happening to Stutter and John, where it's like day by day noticeable changes, and it's like get fucking help because you're going to drop dead, oh, yeah. and you're you're 
your three sons or whatever it is this week uh, are going to be without an embarrassing dad. So, yeah. Well, that's why he needs to get out. I was giving him an opportunity to get out of the house and enjoy getting back to what he said he loves. You know, he loves that. He loves teaching. Go out and fucking do comedy again. But, you know, he's very hard to deal with. Fuck him. That's it. And Vince was going to put up money for him even in the contest. So he would have, uh, you know, he would make money, even though it was a competition. Lemmy, what do you think about these ones like Vince and even Quadfather that are that are still sort of like friendliest with Stuttering John? Does it make any sense to you? Yeah, it makes sense. I mean, A, people do actually have empathy. <laughs> <laughs> Some people. And also, if everybody is a shithead to Stuttering John, everybody's going to, he's just going to leave. And I know that's what some people want, but. This universe no, kind of no. revolves around the fucking guy. He will never leave because he, he needs to make money, you know? And I'm offering him opportunity to make money, you know? But there'll be a competition first and just to prove, you know, he talks. He Let's let's see. Let's see what people think, you know? But then, you know, but he doesn't want to do anything. He, he you know, he, he thinks everybody's going to fuck him. And I haven't fucked anybody. Not yet. Uh, gonna fuck you, usually. <laughs> so we are going to that show. Yes, we are. <laughs> but uh, but also, Bob, does it never get frustrating for you that like every fucking twenty minutes it seems on Twitter one of these Brennan fans is like, "Oh, uh, you're out for dinner with like Shirley? You must be fighting." Is the show coming to an end? All the stuff Kevin Brennan says must be true then. Yeah. And it's like, it's like, just fuck off. Yeah, people believe what they want to believe, and that's fucking, that's, that's the way it's always going to be, you know? That, you know, they probably look up to him because they their parent was a piece of shit, and they're like, wow, this reminds me of my childhood. I like <laughs> this. This Emmy? is perfect for me. I don't know. I think it's more of maybe an opportunity for views. Oh, it, it totally is. It, that's all what it's about, you know? It's like even fucking trying to get uh, uh, Macho Perry died when he tried to get that push, and that push didn't work. What do you have, an extra 150 that day? And then it totally went down again because he, he has nothing. Like he's doing right now, nothing. He just sits there and, yeah, oh, this is great. This is great. That's all he can do, you know? Because he has no fucking comments on anything. He has no humor anymore. It's been sucked out of him. You 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 can put yourself around the biggest pile of shit. It doesn't make you funny. It just doesn't. It doesn't work that way, motherfucker. You got to fucking earn it. Do you think uh, <clears throat> it's it's all going to... How long do you think it's going to take for this to like truly backfire on him? Like for people to say, you know, I'm, I'm tapping out of this shit. This is... It's too fake. It's too staged. I'm going to... Uh, whack off to the Lemmy stream instead or in watching this crap? Well, we'll see, you know, we'll, we'll see what, what happens, you know, but, uh, I, I can't, uh, I can't see regular people going, okay, yeah, this was the show that I was hooked on, you know, I just can't. And, you know, he'll always have his, his big donors that'll, that'll, uh, have him survive. You know what I mean? But I think you're going to lose all the other people that are like, this is just bullshit. It's not even good anymore. Yeah, because because MLC is really only spoken about as being a bad show now, mm -hmm. and like my lost interest <clears throat> is made an empire out of sure? clipping how bad the fucking show has become, and it's just Kevin saying the exact same shit all the time of like, never again, Ray, you're banned from a show, Ray, and then and then of course Ray has to defend him. It's okay if he doesn't pay me. I'm broke. I don't need money. <laughs> you fucking chin hold cunt. <laughs> Bob, Dave Davila, five dollars. Bob, I'm sending you Tony Bennett's VC VHS back. Yeah, I, I gotta get. I got all these tapes that on VHS that I have to get over on something else. Like I have. Things I did, comedy shows like from fucking 1990, and that I would love to be able to get them over. I got to find a place that does that. You probably could in 2008. 
Yeah, but I got I got weddings. I got everything. I'm gonna throw that out, but 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 at least you know I I liked. It would be weird to watch it, you know. Uh, I don't know, but you know, you you have family in it that's not around. You know what I mean? So it's nice to see stuff like that, and uh, everybody thought that was going to be the one. <laughs> Every time, Dave Davila gifted five Levy verse memberships. Do 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 do. Thank you, David. Go get him, you fucking poor bastards. <laughs> Are you ever gonna get married? You think? Me and Lemmy? Yeah. Yeah, but well, she's gonna start that meet her ass more. Because <laughs> until then, it's like if I don't get your ring, then you don't get a ring. That's the deal. You're not one to settle down, right? Uh, no, I recently a uh, single and uh, and I uh, uh, from a fairly long relationship mm-hmm. and it, and I weirdly was happy about it uh, way quicker than I thought it would, which uh, I thought I was going to be miserable and it was actually like nope, she was a cunt. <laughs> <laughs> That's the way to do it, Lemmy. You like to be in relationships. You like that better than being alone, right? Yeah, I've only had two relationships my whole life, and they've both been quite long. Yeah, you see, that's what it is. Uh, Ugly, he's a single, successful guy. He just likes to go to fucking concerts, likes to go drink with his friends, and have you know, because a, a woman would probably yell at you, right, for your going out all the time. Yeah, they go. <laughs> well, what are you? What are you doing? Uh, relaxing, playing the fucking. Uh, computer for us like well because it's more fun than hearing you talk about your cunt sister uh not that that's directly aimed at anyone but it is there you go ugly making friends as always that's why you gotta love him because he's fucking out of his fucking mind but you know he's a big wrestling geek in that stuff like you do you what's the wrestling show you do with the guys you help them uh, edit for see I used to be a big wrestling fan back in the kid I just like click bitting it and making money off it it's mm-hmm. called keeping them 100 this might interest you when you were talking about the Osmonds it's keeping them 100 official mm-hmm. the show from Conan and Disco Inferno well Conan was a guest on the Donnie and Marie talk show mm-hmm. and uh it turned into a, a, a fight on stage and nice. fucking Marie hit Conan with a chair and I think Conan tried to fuck her backstage. <laughs> I missed that episode. I must have missed uh, the end of it, but who knows? Dave Davila, $2. Daddy, throw me, throw that over the fence. Perry Levy. Perry ran already. I already ran her. I'll run her a fucking gun. Then I got to do more shows at three, fucking four, and then the night is off. And then I plan on having some sex tonight. <laughs> uh, you're not going to see uh, fucking uh, Roadhouse at all? The new, uh, the new one? Never. Never. I would never go see another one. It's like Caddyshack 2. There's no way you can do that. You can't, you, you, you can't, you should not do another movie like that. And that nobody can wear those sweatpants like Patrick Swayze, and you guys know that. Yeah, I, I, it's, I rewatched the original the other day, and I don't know, it's just that it just seems everybody in this new one is steroided up out of their mind. I don't know why it exists. Why would you make something, spend all that money to watch it on fucking TV, release it in the cinema? We want, even I, struggle to understand what Conor McGregor is saying. Right, Lemmy? Oh, yeah. Right. He looks weird too now, doesn't he? Look a lot different. Yeah, but because he get on all, he get on steroids, mm-hmm. uh, and like he, he put on a massive amount of solid muscle, and now he's trying to sort of wean off them because he's trying to get back into the UFC, and it's like not gonna happen. You're gonna get yeah. fucking killed. Yeah, that's not an easy job. I mean, at all. The wife has uh, gifted five memberships. Thank you, honey. Go get them, guys. We'll be doing uh, Behind the Wall soon. Mason in Portland, $5. Ugly, who was the first wrestler that comes to your mind when you think of uh, WCW? Hmm. 
Owen Hart. Owen Hart. He was. He was over there. Was he over there? No, but I think about him. Okay. Okay. All right. That's a good. That's good enough for me. Uh, Chris Benoit. Chris Benoit, yeah, definitely. But, you know, that didn't end well. Uh, Lyndon, uh, well, what happened? $2. Dirty Deeds Done Dirt Cheap. Rev, great guest. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, oh, the wife, $2 thrown around. I need some candlelight and roses first. Okay. I, I, no, I don't have roses, but I have I have candles. I have, I have candles. I had a candle that she bought that makes noise. That, you know, it crackles like there's a fucking forest fire. And it's so annoying. Like, what the fuck is that shit? Like, what? why would you fucking pick up something that's fucking annoying? Besides me. Scott Hall was <laughs> another one that was good. Look, all that shit was great. Wrestling was good. It was fucking amazing back in the day. But now it's like fucking, it, it's just every fucking closing move. They use 12 closing moves. And people are getting up. You know, so it doesn't look the leg drop used to take Hogan's leg drop used to that was a finishing fucking move. A DDT was a finishing move. Not no more. Did you ever meet Scott Hall back in the day? No, no. See, see if you ever look this guy up. Uh, let me uh, you could tell clearly that he was going on live TV high as a kite, half drunk backstage. But he was like this cool looking George Michael guy. But uh, and of course he died young and he looked like shit. But what a life! Bobby Heenan on USA was so awesome. Yeah, I mean there was they had like when they it's good when they started bringing in the female ma managers. Like a, the only one that was able to do it really good was Macho Man. But now, now I even know that the only reason why those females were there was because Vince was probably making them suck his dick backstage. So you know. Yeah. He's got a crap on her head. Yeah. I've got a great idea for a match. Uh, I fuck her. <laughs> Mason in Portland, $2. Thank you. Chris Benoit, still a better husband, father than KB. Hmm. Ooh, do you know uh, Chris Benoit, Lemmy? Oh, yeah. The yeah. toothless aggression. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, look at this. Oh, yeah. These two were the best together. That was when it was fucking amazing. You know, uh, do you want roses in a vase or tulips on the organ? Hey, easy, motherfucker. God damn it, Bobby. <laughs> there you go. That's, uh, you know, got to do what you got to do. No, but like WCW, when it was making a comeback, it was fucking it was it was really good. You know, when it was starting to do really good against uh, uh, WWE, it was like it was great to watch. You would tape one, watch the other one. And ECW was around, and it, it was just insane. All different kinds of insanity. But I just love, if you type it into uh, YouTube and stuff, You can. it's called Drunk WCW, and it's all this evidence of people being doing interviews or, or high as a kite <laughs> or fucking drunk or mm -hmm. buzzed. Like Bobby Heenan used to drink vodka during the show. Nice. And sometimes he'd be fucking completely uh, wasted by the end. Have you ever, do you remember Mean Gene Okerlund? Oh, yeah. It, it's this guy, Lemmy, he used to do his interviews at the, st at the top of the entrance stage because he would be so drunk during the show that they were like, he's not going to be able to walk from here to that ring <laughs> to be able to interview this guy. He's so fucked up. So when you watch back the footage, he's like interviewing people like this. Like, like... <laughs> <laughs> But it's amazing to see the old interviews that would fuck up in that stuff when they would film them all. Be you know they get them right in a row coming up to him and that stuff, and you can mm. see the interviews and and he just fucking loses it all the time. Yeah, I mean like Hulk Hogan in the in the eighties was could dumb more coke than Bob Levy in the nineties. <laughs> like like he was fucking out of his mind for a lot of that shit. Well, all of them, are, you know what I mean? Because you're in fucking, if you're in pain every day, you're going to take whatever, anything that's going to change you, you know? And that's what they did. They took the pain pills, which were easy to get back then. Uh, the, the Coke was easy to get, you know, anything like that. And they would fucking, uh, who's the guy that was in ECW that killed that? He killed the kid in the ring. You remember him? Uh, what, what's his oh, name? Oh, New Jack? 
New Jack. That guy was a crazy motherfucker, and he still is, I think. You know, I mean, he was legit fucking insane. Yeah, did, have you ever heard about that guy, Lemmy? No. Is well, one time he was wrestling this kid, and uh, he put a fucking he sliced the head, the kid's head, with the mm-hmm. fucking knife to the point that it like it was gushing blood, yeah. and the, the the kid's face even came loose because he because he slit a uh, moss a cut muscle tendon. Okay, New Jack is dead. Okay, well, it's it's a little safer in Philadelphia than wherever the fuck he lived. But he he was insane. The matches that he did, you know, he just wanted he wanted to hurt people, and the kid wanted to. uh, Yeah, he lied about his age. Uncle Jack said, but also he was he he said to him before he goes, "I'm going to do this moves on you," and yeah, mass transit, and he goes, "This motherfucker ain't doing nothing," and he beat the fuck out of him. You know, yeah. it was brutal. But that's that's the thing about uh, wrestlers is because people forget how massive they all really are. Like, mm-hmm. like I like I'm I'm six two and weigh two forty. I'd be small by wrestlers. No, no, not really. I mean, like Macho Man was like six feet. You know, I'd a lot of them kicked were. the shit out of him. Yeah, well, you'd fuck him up for sure. You're taller. <laughs> there we go. Everybody knows. But when those wrestlers, when they would hit each other for real, uh, you, and you would see how quickly they would fuck people up because they're giants, where it's like they're scary fucking people, and we all know that Lemmy has that dark side uh, in her. You can just tell just by oh, looking yeah. at her. Yeah, I wouldn't want to piss her off. You know, uh, you see what happened when uh, Arms came in. That was fucking brutal. Mm. And Lemmy's <laughs> got fucking muscles. It's true. Can we see? <laughs> oh, there we go. See? There we go. I need Got them. It. I have to have them. I had fat arms. I have see? to have muscle in my arms. Good Sarah Connor there. She can fucking beat the shit out of anybody. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at this. ECW fans throwing all the chairs in a ring for hard camp car uh, matches was is legendary. Yeah, I mean, anything. People would probably bring, like, you know, fucking stop signs in, whatever. You know, they would use anything in the ring. And the fucking wires, the bob wire and that shit, and glass, and just smash it like real fucking glass. And they were they were all, like, legitimately fucking coked up, drunk as shit during the show. Like, like that, that's why when you watch back the 90s, it was, like, the cool thing to do your mm-hmm. job while high. Uh, which is why everyone should check out Lemmy's stream on Twitch. It's uh, unmissable. She is mm-hmm. uh, so messed up all the time. See, that's the only fucking way to do it. So, Lemmy, tell them about your thing, because I got another show I got to go run to, so we have to go. But, Lemmy, where can they find you? Uh, Twitch.tv slash Little Lemmy, 8.30 on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays, Saturdays and Sundays. Mm-hmm. Nice, and thank you for coming by. Ugly, tell me your stuff. Uh, at the Hughie on Instagram and Twitter, and Hughie Entertainment on YouTube, and mm-hmm. keeping the 100 to harass uh, old school wrestlers who have taken drugs with Hulk Hogan. Nice, that is good. Look, you got a fam here, Bob Slick. Uh, Lemmy's <laughs> Twitch stream is a great chill hang, so go and check it out anytime. You can they can watch it anytime after, too, right? Uh, sort of, it yeah. gets muted because I play copywritten music. Uh, when they strike you for copyright stuff, they just mute the VOD. Oh, really? That's how they do it. I thought they just didn't uh let you make money off it or something like that, but who knows. Well, thank you guys for coming by, and uh, we'll see you soon. A lot of things happening. Thanks for coming by, and thanks for the Super Chats and the gifted memberships. Have a good day. We'll see you at 3 Behind the Wall with the Shuley Network, 4 o'clock, the Anti Karen Show. Bye-bye, everybody. Thank you for coming. Yay.